Files, posts, replies, group conversations, and workspace channels can be archived in Slack. To make Slack Enterprise and Slack Plus content available, configure an IAM archiving job in admin. To perform searches on archived Slack content, configure and run an IAM indexing job first. Note that an index job is not required if you only want to archive data for compliance purposes and do not intend to search it later. Also note that a policy is not necessary in order to guide this job. Creating and configuring an IAM archiving job is done in admin under IAM archiving. Once you're there, click Create in the bottom left. A dialog box will open up, allowing you to select the source type from the drop-down box. Select Slack Enterprise. Give the job a name and then click Create. Now, select your newly created job from the panel on the left under I am Archiving. When the tabs open up in the top middle portion of your screen, select the Criteria tab. In the Source section, you will see the Crawler field. Click Change. Select the Slack location configured previously, then click OK. Under Destination, click Change. Here, select Slack Archive, which we also configured earlier. Then, simply click OK. Next, we have Incremental Archiving. Checking this box will archive only data that was not archived since the last time an archived job was run. Leaving this box unchecked will ensure that all content is archived from the very beginning, unless a date selection is made in the next step. In the Retention section, select Apply Retention Flag to apply a flag to messages that have been archived. Next, indicate the number of days that archives should be retained, specifically corresponding to the retention policy previously established. Here, you can also select a date field to include date created, archiving date, or last modified date. Under Legal Hold, you can select the checkbox if you want to apply a legal hold to custodian email archives included in search. In the indexing section, select the checkbox to enable real-time indexing if you want to search the archives. If that's not your intention, leave this option unchecked. Under Options, you can archive posts from the last X number of days and select this to specify a date range. You can archive posts based on specific content, i.e. regular expressions, and overwrite edited records. Here, we're going to select archive posts from the last X number of days. Now, enter the number of days to archive posts. Note, you can also input a date field, either date created or last modified date. In the Workspace Selection section, you have three options to choose from. You can archive posts from all workspaces and channels. You can archive posts only from the following channels, and then select specific channels. And lastly, you can exclude posts from the following workspaces and channels, and then select those. Let's leave the default setting here. Once you're done making the selections on this tab, click Save in the bottom left. Now, select the Job Settings tab in the upper left. Here, the first thing you can do is to give a description to the job. Otherwise, let's move on to the Job Priority, where you can make a selection from low to high, with Normal being the default selection. If jobs are running concurrently, making a selection here will control which job will take priority in the queue when a job is selected by the job manager. Mode is next. Here, you can choose from continuous, pause, or pause and delete indexes. Continuous indexes continually without interruption. Pause stops indexing, and pause and delete will stop and then delete the existing index. In the user section, you can see that all users from location is automatically enabled, which will archive all user accounts. If you would rather specify which user accounts will be archived, deselect this option and then select the specified user accounts. We will leave this as is. Next, click Save in the bottom left. Now, let's click the Log Settings tab. Let's leave all default log settings as is. 
However, if you want to enable logging for troubleshooting purposes later on, you can edit settings here. If you're all set, click Save in the bottom left. This concludes the video on how to configure a Slack archiving job.